Phoenix, the one who rises. Phoenix, the one with the beautiful cry. Phoenix, the one who inside my womb grew for five months, later rose anew. My first encounter with the Phoenix started with an ultrasound. I was told my womb had become a womb and that the Phoenix was destroyed. Prayers went up and blessings came down. He rose from the fire and multiplied. Lying in the womb, no longer a tomb, he grew. Time became the enemy as space became scarce. The wound was opened, and as Phoenix began to breathe, it was clear he was not whole. He held true to his blue and purple feathers, and they all gathered around to see his plume. The, 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 the machine yelled out to alert the team that he was in distress. For weeks, the machines told the story of Phoenix that he could not tell. I held the Phoenix in my arms and prayed that he would not be destroyed. For five long months, he held true to his blue hue and plume. The heart of gold that he held inside was broken. And with words not spoken, we prayed and prayed. The day came that he was big enough to have that broken heart mended. I held my phoenix in my arms, knowing that soon he would burst into flames and die. The time came and they took him away. He was put to sleep, sent deep into the abyss. The last thing he knew in this life was a goodbye kiss from the lips of his mother. The heart that was broken was made to stop, no longer to be in the state it was in. Lungs didn't breathe, but the breath he needed was being sighed by me, blood made to flow through machines while